Hello everybody, it is Sure New Eve Art and I'm back at it today with a Dale and Roney review. So this is the 24 pan uh, that I showed in my previous haul video and that I said I would do a little video on. This video isn't too long, uh, I, I only do like a little simple rough painting at the end of a little skyscape. Um, it's more like a little nighttime scene, it looks more illustrative Um, and it was literally just to see how some of the colours worked. I will do a second video after this of a different painting. I might do a beach scene um, or potentially another bird because uh, I have been wanting to paint a little blue tit for a while um, using these colours. Once again, though, I feel like that might be too many blues, so it might be best to do maybe a field or forest scene just to potentially try and get some of the greens and yellows and reds used just so you can get a full scope on what these paints were like. Um. Obviously, I'm using my Sea White's sketch pad uh, that I do all my swatches in that you've seen before in previous videos. Um, I will just do the simple swatches. I am using the paintbrush as well that came with the Dale and Roney um, palette. It's very cute, very small. Um, so obviously, it wouldn't be good for big um, loads of detail or if you're painting backgrounds, things like that. But fine details and small sketches, especially on the smaller um, watercolour paper pads and like the Sea White books that I've got because they're not the biggest. Um, it's easy to use. Um, the only issue I did have, obviously, with it being so small, the water jar I use um, was so deep, so you can probably see in the corner of the video, I did have to pick it up and angle it to actually get the paintbrush to reach in for the water, as I didn't fill it that high. Um, but that was the only issue I had with it. But then again, it's not meant to be used. I just thought it'd be cute for the video, since I'm reviewing the product, to review the little paintbrush as well and do it with that. So these are the swatches. Um, as you can see, really pigmented and they seem to blend really well um, and have quite a nice like washed out effect. Obviously with watercolours, they do tend to dry lighter. Uh, but when you see at the end of this video, the swatches actually dry pretty much how they've painted at this moment. Ultramarine, um, obviously in the white and some of the like Prussian blue, they were a little bit light, uh, but that tends to happen with blues. I notice no matter what media you use, they tend to dry much lighter. Then the other pigments um, and colour ranges. But yes, overall, really impressed. Obviously, like every time, the green's 100% my favourite. If green is my favourite colour, no matter the shade. I do tend to warm more towards lime greens and then like foresty greens um, rather than like deeper pine greens. Uh, but I love them all nonetheless. The yellows, um, lemon yellow and the cadmium orange even though they were just hues the pigments they were really pigmented i thought and really good um so i couldn't wait to use these um but as like i said as you'll see with them being water colors they do dry much lighter uh but like i said to be expected with water colors um this pan palette sorry does have some color ranges obviously that most palettes do contain um so there was like burnt sienna yellow ochre there was black and white, them obviously tend to be colours that you always get in palettes. Um, lemon yellow was in there and alizarin crimson, even though they were hues, they tend to always be in palettes that I get, whether that's acrylic, watercolour or um, oils, they tend to be colours that you always get, with them being primary colours. Um, you do get a few shade ranges and I did think it was definitely worth the money. This palette I got from the range and it was around £24.99 um quite cheap because i looked online and the palettes go for around that price some places sell them a bit more Um, i know most art shops and online they're around 26 27 99 some places selling them even at 30 99 so the range actually has them for quite a good deal
But just to show the colour ranges and that, I do end up doing a little painting of a um, skyscape, which you will see now. Um, the colours, the blues especially, blended really easily and well. Um, at first I didn't even go in with any different colour painting um, to do the clouds. I literally just damped my um, watercolour brush and literally removed the paint off the paper from the areas that I wanted the clouds to be. And then I go in again with Prussian blue and cobalt blue hue to do little bits of outline so it gives like some shading onto the clouds um a really simple and easy effect i'm no professional i say this in every video so obviously my paintings aren't going to be amazing they're not going to be the best thing you ever see uh but i just thought i would do something simple and quick because i just want to see what it looks like uh but i definitely will do another painting video with this but i thought it was really cute and i thought it turned out sweet um very like illustrative it reminds me what you'd see in like a little chat like a kid's book um it reminds me of a lot of um i can't remember the author but they did like the uh, little forest books with the deers um and they also did like i don't know if it was called the bear and it's about the polar bear it's supposed to be a christmas film and it was turned into that it was like a similar style to the snowman the animation uh, but it gave me that kind of vibe Um, very happy with it though overall so overall, I know I'm still doing my little painting of this little skyscape with the moon and the clouds. Um, but you can pause the video to look at the swatches that I did. Um, I will show them again at the end of the video as well. At that point, I have wrote down the names and the light fast rating. The ones with the highest light fast rating were um, the like the, the brown, so burnt umber, yellow ochre and burnt sienna. Their light fast was very high. They were around four or five stars. Um, I believe leaf green was a little low and so was ultramarine but they tend to be i don't know it's the pigments um other watercolor palettes sorry that i've used their life fast are usually around a one or two star same with the faber castell pencils and the stabilo pencils their light fast rating for the blues and greens tends to be quite low as well and um, which is understandable obviously the more pigments that's in something usually the light fast isn't as high black obviously the light fast was five stars Payne's gray was five star and so was burnt umber and burnt sienna i think i already mentioned burnt sienna but i've got that bad of a memory so their life fasts were really high especially for um with the palette being so cheap in my opinion for the amount of colors you get uh, i really did enjoy this palette and using it it was very cute and very compact and easy to use and practical um like i said paintbrush was a little little um so a bit hard to use um and obviously the pans where you can mix the colors they're a little small but it cannot be helped i mean you've only got so much space to fit all these different bits in and usually if i do go outside plein air painting i will just bring my own palette to mix the colors on rather than using usually what what color palettes give you space wise um, but I mean, you could use the inside of the uh, lid on the opposite side. Um, there's no issue with that. And then obviously once you finish, you could just wipe down with some tissue. Watercolours are a very easy thing, I think, to use and take outside. Very practical. Um, I struggle more taking acrylics or oils outside. They're just 10 times harder. And I usually don't have the energy for it. <laughs> but I also am lazy. Uh, but yeah, that's literally as simple as the video is. Um, I haven't went into too much detail. You can pretty much see for yourselves on the swatches how... They dried and what they looked like um, when they were first painted and how they um, set. Obviously, like I said, the colours do lighten down loads once they're dry. Um, you can see the light fast and the names for them. Uh, but I definitely recommend this palette. I will also do another video of a painting with it um, as there's many more colours to go and dip into.
I hope you liked this video, guys. Sorry it is short, but I will obviously do another one closer in time and upload that one. Um, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up and a subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, but no pressure, do not worry. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much, much appreciated. And comment if you want to see anything specific down below. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye.